Hey everybody, this is my comparison video of the uh, Z Quiet Stop Snoring Mouthpiece to the uh, Vital Sleep Stop Snoring Mouthpiece. Talk a little bit about my favorite first Z Quiet. It comes in this container, just pops right off. As soon as you get it out, all you have to do is take it out and rinse it off, really. Um, you could probably uh, wash it if you wanted to, but all I did was rinse mine off. When you store it, you want to hold it open like that. Put it in and then put the cap on because it keeps the spring in it. The theory behind Z Quiet is uh, well, all stop snoring mouthpieces hold the lower part of your jaw out past your upper jaw. You can see the difference there. Uh, Z Quiet's in a, a class by itself because they actually have a patent for the living hinge. If you store it like that, it keeps the spring here. I especially like Z Quiet because I sleep with my mouth open. Which uh, Z Quiet helped me out a lot with that because it holds my lower jaw out even with my mouth open like that. And uh, anyways, the theory is if it holds your lower jaw out, it keeps your airway open and keeps you from snoring. So now that we know that, uh, Z Quiet is definitely my favorite mouthpiece. I have not found one that beat it yet. On the side note, I use a CPAP machine now, but I do still use my Z Pep a uh, little bit. The Z Quiet, it comes with this. Uh, you just dip it in boiling water and then bite down for yada yada. I don't remember how long. And then you can pull this out, stick it in your mouth. Um, the only thing I don't like, a lot of these mouthpieces are like this. They're usually closed like this and have some type of adjustment. This one actually comes with a little screwdriver and it's got some little screws here on the side to where you can uh, keep adjusting this each night to pull the lower jaw out farther and farther until you don't snore. And that reminds me on Z Quiet, they actually just come with two different sizes. One holds your lower jaw out farther than the other size. Um, I had to use the uh, size that holds your jaw out farther. And then on the comparison notes, uh, Z Quiet definitely blew the uh, vital sleep out of the water. Because like I said, I sleep with my mouth open, sometimes even like that much. Yeah, it gets to be quite a bit. I, and I stopped snoring with my mouth open with Z Quiet. One bad thing about all the stop snoring mouthpieces is if I'm on my back, um, it just puts too much pressure in my lower jaw, puts too much torque on the mouthpiece, and I do stop or start snoring sometimes, even with Z Quiet a little bit. But Z Quiet shuts it down for the most part if I'm on my side or anything like that, and I am a side sleeper. The problem with the Vital Sleep is sometimes I found that. When I do open my mouth, my jaw would pop loose and like go over the top or under. You can see me moving like that. It gets really uncomfortable. I start snoring because obviously my lower jaw slides back down. So that's why I can't stand these mouthpieces and Z Quiet pretty much blows them all out of the water. So <clears throat> I'll just let you watch my review videos that I made before this video on the Vital Sleep mouthpiece first. And then the Z Quiet video is after that one.
Hey, snoreforest.com here. This video is about the Z Quiet Stop Snoring mouthpiece. Please just listen to my intro and we'll get to the live video of me using the product. I used the Z Quiet mouthpiece to stop my snoring when I was 35 because my snoring was causing my wife and I too many problems. It was just keeping us both up at night. Anyways, it worked and I decided to start trying out other stop snoring products. I record myself using them at night so that you can see if they actually work or not. And uh, I really couldn't get anything else to work. Z Quiet is awesome. So I started wondering what the deal was. And I don't know why it took me so long, but I realized it was because of uh, something called the Living Hinge technology, which Z Quiet usually has a patent for. How it works is uh, this is my Z Quiet mouthpiece. All mouthpieces just try to hold your lower jaw out past your upper jaw, which keeps your airway open, which is supposed to keep you from snoring. The unique thing about Z Quiet is the living hinge technology which allows you to open and close your mouth while you're sleeping and it still keeps your lower jaw out while it's doing that. And that is a huge deal I've learned with mouthpieces. This is another mouthpiece. They're not allowed to use the technology because they don't have the patent. So this is a good example where it's solid. It keeps your lower jaw out but the only problem is if you open your mouth too much while you're sleeping, uh, one time my upper jaw actually slid over the top of one or else it sticks to the upper jaw or to the lower jaw and it allows the lower jaw to slide back to its normal position and then you start snoring again. It's a huge deal. It's a huge problem. That's what makes Z quite unique and the best. So please enjoy the rest of the video. Thanks.